Good afternoon, Internet. Craig Chamberlain here. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell. I uh, just finished up with another service call. Went pretty well. It's one of those things where, you know, you, you, you pack, like, service calls, you're like, you have to do your job with limited resources. So I had to go out and do a program modification. And what's, I don't know if any of you have ever done field work, but, like, there's always that I forgot something feeling, you know? Like, you put everything in your bag. You, you're like, I've got it all. This is everything I need. And then, do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? So I made it out there, and I started getting connected, and I realized I forgot an extension cord and a Cat5 cable. It's awesome. You always forget something. But thankfully, they had the stuff there. But uh, it's always embarrassing to ask, you know? You always want to make sure you got everything. But when you don't do it every day, it's tough to figure that out, you know? Tough to, tough to make sure that you're on top of that stuff. So it went good. I, I made the program modification. This is doing IEC 61131 CODIS programming. Push up the nerd glasses. Essentially, all it is really is I'm doing motion control, you know, like uh, synchronizing movements of like two axes. I'm trying to make it sound less nerdy, but it's really nerdy. But uh, basically, I'm moving two motors together. Oh, here's a good analogy. The vending machine at the mall, the new ones they have, they, they have like simultaneous movement, right? So you enter something into the screen, one motor goes down, one motor goes left, or the newer ones are nicer, they actually go together, right? They go, it goes right to where your drink is. Drink pops out, moves it right over, and drops the drink in the tray. Essentially, I would be, in this instance, programming the controller that runs the two motors that position it where it needs to go. Although this application is like a bending, tube bending thing. Anyway, but uh, that's some of the stuff that I do on the side here for the electrical engineering stuff. <clears throat> My daughter had a, a program this morning, a uh, Christmas program. And I was curious what a Christmas program for a five-year-old would actually look like. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, the attention span of a five-year-old is astronomically low and I'm pretty sure she's one of the older ones in her class as well so I, I go to that and um, she's going up there like waving and everything they all get up there and they all start singing you know and it's real 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 cute uh, just they got like songs back to back and all kinds of funny stuff she's like dancing when she's not supposed to be dancing and uh, that was kind of a cool experience to see her do her first public thing, you know? Kind of a dad moment, you know? Where you're like sitting here like, she's growing up. She's getting big. It's happening. The good news is she can't date till she's like 45. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Yeah, right. <clears throat> but, uh... <clears throat> That was a, <clears throat> excuse me, that was a cool experience. And last night we all went to the parents and painted ornaments. But uh, in the meantime, I've been, I mean, really my my attitude has kind of been dragging lately. But I've been using one of them light therapy lamps. And as you guys know, yesterday I did like, I'm doing like a caffeine reboot thing. So I'm kind of taking back the caffeine a little bit so I can enjoy it again. And I started using my light therapy thing, which I use every year because we're in the northern Indiana. We're in northern Indiana where it's really dark and depressing most of the day. Uh, I wake up in the morning and it's dark out and I go to work and then I leave and it's dark out. You know, that's like the time of year it's at. But at work, I've got no window in my office. So I'm like literally in a box with fluorescent lighting the whole day. So naturally, you get less light and so your body doesn't produce energy levels right. So you... They make these light therapy lamps, which work tremendously well. And they got timer on it, press like 15 minutes, as long as it's shining in your face. Um, and I usually have to do it every season because I'm just in front of a computer too much. I don't, I'm not outside. So anybody else do that? No, just me. I'm the embarrassed one. Just, just me. All right. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And it should be a good weekend. Star Wars weekend. Did you see it? Did you like it? Don't give me any spoilers or else.